Uh, KT McFarland joins us now, definitely our foreign policy expert. KT, no off-ramp. Does that mean no negotiated peace? Do you see this in those terms? No, and I think it's a big mistake to talk about it in those terms. You know, no off-ramp, no, no negotiated solution. Well, what does that mean? It means either the Russians win or the Ukrainians win. And, and let's just let's talk about the reality, not what, not what we want, but what's possible. And three things are really important here. Number one, Vladimir Putin can go on fighting in Ukraine forever. As long as oil and natural gas prices remain high, he can't. If he doesn't have to sell them to Europe, he'll sell it to China. He'll sell it to India. As long as those prices remain high, he's got all the money he needs to have a grinding war. And the statements he made at the Victory Day parade, to me, indicate he, this is his new normal. He's going to keep fighting this for a long time. And then secondly, you know, the, Vladimir Putin is popular in Russia. He, the, the narrative he has, he's spinning this as a great a noble cause for the Iran for the uh, for the Russian people defeating Nazis in Ukraine. So he's going to have his popular support for a very long time. And then finally, Stuart, he thinks he's Russia. You know, he's been in power for more than two decades. He thinks he's the personal embodiment of Mother Russia. So he's not looking for some kind of he'll retire, he'll be pushed out, he'll be a lame duck. If that happens, he's not a lame duck, he's a dead duck. <laughs> and so I think that all of the things that Lucy, Lindsey Graham is saying, let's find a negotiated solution, and then we buy time to do what Lindsey Graham wants, which is the Russian people to get rid of Vladimir Putin on their own. Okay, Katie, I'm just going to change the subject here because uh, Taliban, the, the Taliban rulers in Afghanistan, they've ordered all women, you've got to cover up head to toe all over again, and they can only leave home when necessary. Where is the American women's rights protests? when this is going on in Afghanistan. Where are the protests here? Well, isn't that a tragedy? Mm. And isn't that hypocrisy? Because, you know, in Afghanistan, when a woman puts on the burqa, she basically goes under house arrest. She's not allowed out. And no, you, and when, you go to you, when you go to Afghanistan, when I went like 15 or so years ago, you would never see a woman on the street, right. not even covered with a burqa. They were under house arrest at home. And then what happened is that the women got rights they got educations, they had opportunities, they took the burqas off. Um, I just want to show you this, Stuart. When I was in Afghanistan about a decade or so ago, see, this is made, this is handbag was made by an Afghani war widow, and it's made out of an old burqa, her old burqa. And she took it off, and she made a handbag out of it, and she entered, it was enterprising enough to sell it. This is what the Afghan women are going to have to put on again, that burqa. They are going to lose all rights. They'll be under house arrest. And it's one of the many tragedies of Afghanistan. Well said. Yes, indeed it is. KT, thanks very much for being with us. Always good. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thanks.